Hello and welcome to the Industry Podcast. My name is Corey. I'm joined by my co-host Blake. Hello. And the Industry Podcast is your source for industry interviews, insights, and inside stories. How are you doing today, Blake? I'm doing great. Awesome. Awesome. And just as a note, we don't actually have a guest this week. We have something much more special uh, in the way of multiple guests. What do you think about that, Blake? We have about uh, 12 guests this week. Yes, and, and that was totally fantastic. It's definitely better than we usually do. And that's, uh, that's what we want to talk about a little bit, is uh, today, uh, on, on the shooting day of the Industry Podcast, um, we actually had a film crew interested, uh, director Francis La Rosa and director of photography Michael Cavazos, who was actually on the podcast um, a couple episodes ago. They were interested in an office location, and we had something like that available for them. And so they reached out, and we accommodated them. And so they came in. The best time for them to come in was, was this morning. So we, uh, we're here recording the industry podcast, just coming fresh off a film set. Yep, that is absolutely true. And uh, it was a lot of fun. What, and what, what were we cast as? What was our characters? Um, we were cast as gamers. Yeah, gamers. So I got to rock my, my Mario one-up shirt. And Blake over here uh, had a laptop in front of him. And we were all pretending to type. It was amazing. Uh, and uh, the movie itself is directed by Francis La Rosa. Francis La Rosa. And uh, it's a French film, right? Yep, and it'll yep, and it'll have French subtitles. So it'll be in English with French subtitles, right? Correct. Right, right. So, <laughs> yeah. So that's that's uh, they actually filmed uh, their last day um, today on that on that film itself. So yeah, we were just happy to be a part of it. It was really exciting uh, for just a film production company to come in, and afterwards, after they were finished up with the scenes that we were in on this location they were actually complete with the entire film uh which means that uh they they were super ecstatic and excited and ready to to talk about their experience so they came right over to um our studio and utilized it and uh i'm super happy with the results oh yeah totally so who you'll be seeing is uh shoot that's a good question wrote down her name. One sec. One sec, one sec. Heather Ross. You'll be seeing Heather Ross, who is an actor and uh, I think partial producer of this film. Um, and she's, she's, uh, she was also a gamer in our little scene. Um, and so she'll be actually hosting the podcast uh, interview of their, of their uh, a filmmaking friend. So it's a filmmaker, actor, interviewing other people on the crew. So that's what you'll be seeing. Um, you'll be seeing Francis. Um, he's right in dead center of the whole crew. They all kind of piled in onto a couch here um, and just uh, and just started um, sharing their stories. So that's the reason we don't have a guest today. We actually have a special of 12 guests. And um, yeah, that's what I'm really excited to show you. Do you have anything else to add, Blake? Well, um, I got to say, I'm, I'm speaking on the film and saying... Um, was the deadline. That's right. That's and right. You said I, it just like that. And I thought it was very epic. You know, when, be, when you're a really good actor, you, do, you deliver a consistent line every time. And Blake nailed it. That, the, the way he said it just now, the way he said it every single time. So that, hire this guy to act in your film. And, and, of course, and of course, when you said that you would help the, when, when the guy said, Corey, do you want to help her? And, and you said, you got and, it. And you said, you, you got it, boss. You got it, boss. Exactly, exactly. We just do what we're told, us actors. No, but this is, um, interestingly enough, this is my third, I feel like fourth time being in a film. It is my fourth time. It is my fourth time being on a, on a, in a film. Uh, and yeah, it was a good time. Um, anything else to add about the rest of your week, Blake? How was the rest of your week? Well, I'm just recovering from, uh, on the, well, on I had the side effects, as you know, a couple weeks ago from the COVID vaccine, but mm. I'm just getting over that and uh, a little bit of laryngitis and a cough. But other, oh, than, that, it's, other than that, I'm good. And, You're a little uh, bit better? That's good. 
and now I'm going to have to try to find another job and and I'm hopefully I'll get some by tomorrow because of yeah. course I'm a client through Express Employment Professionals and that they know the kind of jobs I like and I'm pretty sure they'll give me a job back so yeah they'll hook you up yeah totally and even though even if they are attempt to hire engine eight attempt to hire jobs I'll take them and on that same note Blake is a camera operator uh, he runs he's a he's, he runs a mean slate uh, he's very very good at uh, conducting himself on professional film sets and semi-professional film sets so hire this guy out help help, help an artist uh, you help another uh, filmmaker I would love that. Um, my week was a lot of fun. Uh, besides today and all the excitement today, um, Paradox Productions specifically had a very big event called the Barbershop Mixer, which um, just start, opened up events yesterday, and they're continuing today as we speak. The Barbershop Mixer, put on by Trey the Barber. Shout out Trey the Barber. Uh, he's one of my favorite people. Um, and definitely, definitely somebody you should know if you're trying to move forward in your life on a professional and personal level. So Trey's the guy that will help you out. Oh, yeah, totally. Um, also, it, it help you out physically, of course, with, with uh, being a barber. And, uh, yeah, so that's, that's what I did last night. I was out taking photos. Um, last Thursday, I did my, uh, my first major photo shoot. Um, where I, I was doing all the photos for uh, a good friend of mine and coworker, Jeffrey Gonzalez. He's trying to reignite his acting uh, passion for, um, you know, working on uh, film sets and commercials and things like that. So we got to hang out. He liked uh, my photos, and and we he, he came to the studio. We took some photos, and it was super exciting because it was my first real photo shoot in Austin from from moving up north. So it really feels like. Things are moving forward as far as uh, my photography business, uh, CLE Photography. But uh, yeah, besides that, uh, Wednesday, um, I was washing dishes all day, thinking about film. And uh, I watched, uh, let's see, uh, Friday I watched, um, I watched this documentary called Icarus. Have you seen that? No, I have not. It's a documentary about how like Russia, the Russian government has been cheating on doping tests, getting athletes to test negative for doping medication since the Olympics were invented, <laughs> which is insane. Um, it was a mind-blowing documentary, a lot of fun, um, very, very intense as far as like the, the guy like telling every, everybody what's happening, like he like uh, put in witness protection in the U.S. It was wild, but uh, yeah. Really fun to watch. Really fun watch. Um, that was my Friday night. And uh, yeah, Monday and Tuesday were um, more or less uh, pretty regular. Doing some real estate photos. Mm -hmm. So I can say I've been either behind a camera or near a camera close to every single day today. Or mm -hmm. every, every day this week. That's great. Yeah. I'm really excited. I like to keep it consistent with, uh, with things like that. So and being productive every day too. Yeah, real estate photography, washing dishes, whatever I gotta do to uh, to to keep food on the table and to keep myself on a film set, I'll do yep. it. But uh, just do everything you can to be productive in life and exactly. keep putting yourself out there. Exactly, and yeah, and speaking of uh, on this uh, this film crew that came in of uh, the film Infidel, they will be ready to uh, to see us. Um, and, and ready to see what we can do on, on this show. Um, and yeah, this is kind of the lead up to, to their interview. So thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. And here's the interview of Francis LaRosa and all of his cast and crew. Thanks. Hello, and thank you for joining us today. This is the cast and crew of Onfidel. And I, let's get started with everyone introducing themselves. Uh, hi, my name is Mari Colen from Blue BC Productions. I am the executive producer from Afidel Film. And thank you everyone to be a part of this. And just like that. And thank you, the director, Francois thank La Rosa. You. Thank you, Mary. For thank this you big, so much. Uh, project. Thank I you. am actress too, and modeling. 
Yeah, I'm glad this came about, Mary. Thank you so much for, you know, helping in this production. Okay, thank you. My name is, uh, I go by S.J. Taylor. Um, I'm John in this film. Um, just excited to be here. I'm not necessarily, you know, previously a model actor. I guess I am now. <laughs> you know, thanks to Francois and Mary here and Diamond. You, you'll meet in a second. And yeah, I'm just happy to be here. I'm Virginia Borrego, and I am one of the actors in Afidel. Diamond Ishi, I play Michelle in Afidel, model and act as well. I'm uh, Francois La Rosa. I'm the director and writer of Afidel. Um, yeah, that's what I did. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my name is Jerry Garcia. I am the production assistant and an extra of, for this film. My name is Tommy Lee Rose IV. I was part of the crew team behind the scenes, and I was an actor in the film as well. Uh, hello, my name is Michael Cavasso. I'm a, a filmmaker, photographer. I uh, shot the film. Hi, I'm Nick Wolf Quintana, and I'm an actor uh, of this film. And I'm Heather Ross, an actress, and I'm also uh, doing the interview. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah. uh, Francois, why don't you uh, tell us how this film came about? Yeah, uh, it actually, I, uh, I filmed this uh, under a different name back in 2016 in France. Uh, I, I had a short film, a documentary that got accepted to, to Cannes. And while we were there, I was with another filmmaker, and we decided to shoot an uh, impromptu uh, short film called uh, Disloyal. And so we just came out with the concept, and we shot it with an uh, interesting uh, motley crew with uh, actors from Russia, as mm -hmm. well as, uh, you know, some French um, actors as well, too. And uh, I played uh, the main character, uh, John. Uh, and so I, you know, once we got through filming it and editing it, um, I thought I would come back to it later and redo it uh, and when I had time. And so 2021 comes around and uh, here we are. We did it. I rewrote it and I renamed it Afidel, which means in, in French, uh, it means uh, un unfaithful. Yeah. And so, you know, the process went with me rewriting it, which took uh, probably about maybe three months to kind of re configure the characters and the and add more scenes um to make it a little bit more spicy and juicy and cold-blooded uh, <laughs> and so once that was done i t was talking to some um producers and uh blue busset productions mary cullen owns that we we talked for a while and and so we got the funding and so uh, mary we were sitting down and we were discussing some I think that's right, Mary. We were discussing some characters. Uh, let me get you the mic uh, so that way you can chat a little bit, Mary. We were well, the first thing we did was we talked about the uh, casting characters and uh, um, what, who was the first person you introduced me to, Mary? Was Diamond? Yeah. We were in a project. You were modeling. In a project. Yeah. We were working together, and I saw her because. I saw in his Facebook page that he speaks something in a French. And I saw, oh my gosh, she is yeah. for this role. Yeah, then that's important too, yes. Mary, because at first I was going to do it all in French uh, and uh, black and white. And, uh, you know, Mary thought, you know, color would be better, but, you know, I'm just such a, you know, eccentric guy, as Mary calls me. <laughs> And you, I, you have a passion for the uh, yeah, black and white. I do. I have a nostalgia and, you know, for that so as well. I get it. I wanted to do something different, but Mary thought it'd be better in color. And so uh, she was right, actually. She, I think we're going <laughs> to do it in color. And I saw her, but she didn't know about it. No, Remember? I, she didn't know. Just you I and I it. talk right. about it. That's right. And then you yeah. ask her for it. Yeah, she, uh, we decided to meet. 
we decided to meet and I thought she was she she was an interesting model she was a model, model she still is I think from Modella Mai she's a model but I saw some of her her photos and I thought well this, she's got something and I told Mary I want to meet her Mary and so Mary hooked me up and then I'll let you talk about it Diamond how we how it came about it was funny <laughs> So we met at a Starbucks, and I was sitting outside waiting for you. Mm -hmm. You came up, got us coffees. Yes, yeah. We sat down and both pulled out the same size and color notebook to yeah. take notes in. <laughs> we just yeah. immediately clicked. Yeah, that was synchronous. It was meant to be. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, it really was. I, I was, uh, I, we just laughed. <laughs> and then, you know, that just, you know, usually it takes a little a while to break the ice, you know, um, but we just hit it off right off the bat. And I just knew she was the main actress. She was perfect for the role. Thank you. You bet, you bet. Um, after that was, I talked to Mary about, we needed a male character. Right. And I saw Mary did a photo shoot and she had this guy that she was with. And I thought, who's, I said, who's that guy, Mary? And she says, um, she told, she's, I, at first I wasn't sure. I think she said SJ or Sajan. I kept saying Sajan. I don't know why. I'm sorry, brother, SJ. But, uh, <laughs> but I, you know, we, at the time we were going to do it in French and I wanted to, to, I didn't want it French speaking people, right. you know, and so uh, Diamond was uh, taking, getting her French lessons down with the dialogue really good. And then uh, SJ spoke French. So when I, you know, tell me about that, Mary. I mean, with SJ. Uh, we were looking for a male, nobody fit, but I met him too that day in model my project and I say you know he's the right for this role I yeah. like him for this role yeah Mary told me she she would like him for this role and I said a lot I said does he speak French she says oh yeah he speaks French and so uh, um SJ how did we hook up did we how did we did we hook up and speak French right off the bat what what happened man I forgot um well, with us um we met the uh, first time at Starbucks. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Good old Starbucks. <laughs> was the uh, the first time we met um, with with Diamond, and we went through everything. And then um, we were on. Um, you asked me, "Hey, do you speak French?" And I was like, "We, oui, you know, je peux you know." And uh, yeah, I think we know. started speaking French. Yeah, we started speaking a little French, yeah. and then he was like, "Okay, great, it's perfect," you know. And yeah. it, it, it's like. I was like, yeah, I mean, if you want a French role, I can do it. I told them I never acted, so I was a little really nervous. And they're like, you'll be fine. I seen the pictures with Mary. I loved it. And right, I was yeah. like, okay, okay. They gave me a little bit more, you know, confidence right. that maybe I could, I could do this. And just glad to have the opportunity from both of you. I, when we were modeling, with, like Mary said, uh, I was really nervous. And Diamond was like, you know, go, 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 take a picture with her. I was like, oh, she's too pretty, man. You know, like I, I like, I don't know, because like, you know the outfit she had on a little bit, you know, it was very professional. Like they were all professional models and. Was that like, your first time modeling? First time modeling, first time ever being in front of a camera. Ah. So, you know. Aside from like, you know, family photos and things like that. No, I even try to hide from those. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know, I don't like being in front of the camera as much as I can. I want to be a hidden. But uh, she was like, go take a picture with her. And so I did it. And it was just one of the coolest experiences, you know. And pictures came out great and just hit me up. and was like, yeah, yeah, let's, let's do it. Let's do it. And so. Yeah, uh -huh. and one of the key one of the key things about SJ is that he did a lot of first. Yeah, <laughs> he did a lot of first things he's never done. Yeah. yeah, this whole experience, man, is just first after first after first, you know. Yeah. So even doing this, ripping the bandaid off. Yeah, straight off. <laughs> and, and after after that, you know, I was getting we were getting the main characters, me and Mary, and we we had Diamond and SJ. And we were needing a uh, another uh, femme fatale uh, actress who could really pull it off really good. And at the time, uh, we went to, uh, uh, I was a producing a film called, the, uh, I forget the name of it, Virginia. Was it The Lady in Red or? Was it The Nightmare? No. Did was you produce the, the Blue Heart of Lady? But were you, you weren't in The Nightmare. The Blue Heart of Lady Red? No, Lady I was, Red. in The Nightmare, I was... An extra, and it helped with makeup. Okay, I, I started that with, uh, I produced that, but I, I was uh, kind of out of commission with an accident that I had. So I started it, and then I 
I didn't see it till the end. Right, because I think Joe Barajas was Joe, for the Joe blue Kane, heart of Lady yeah, Red, yeah, too. Yeah, that's right. And then I, I did The Lady in Red. I produced that. But I was on another project, but I helped produce that. And then when you won the award, and we were invited, Christian called, he was the filmmaker and writer, called and said, come on out, man. And, and so I said, yeah. So me and Mary got together. We went out and we saw the film, the completed film. And I saw you. And when I saw you on screen, I thought, there she is. That's who we need for our film. Thank you. And, um, uh, you did your acting was great. Your performance was fantastic, Thank and you, you won an award. You won an award right, on the that team, side. Yeah. yeah. So I thought, man, you're you, we got to have you on this. So I'm so glad that we. Well, how did it come about? How did the casting go with me and you? Uh, well, at the festival, you had asked me what I had going on, and I had mentioned that soon there was going to be some space to you know get on a new project. And then I think it was a few weeks after that that you messaged me and kind of just started shooting ideas about Afidel and giving me details about the French version right. of the film yeah, that's right. we, as at that well. Time, we were focusing more on the French side. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's cool. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Congratulations, everybody. Yeah. Thank and, you. And, you know, the interesting part is that uh, there was a lot of things added to the second script that wasn't in the first. Mm. And so uh, there was a lot of interesting um, uh, sex scenes as well as uh, some really cold-blooded uh, behavior, you know, in the film, which was interesting. Uh, after this, they, uh, we, we had the main meat on the plate, sort of, sorry to say that with coffee from Starbucks. Um, <laughs> and, uh, we, uh, I, I needed to get a, uh, film. Um, I didn't really want to shoot this. I'd shot, uh, through the glass, I shot another f short film through the glass and I thought, you know, I wanted to get a, a, a dip, some new blood, some filmmaker. And so I, I, I had some time and I was perusing through Facebook and I saw this filmmaker and I thought, wow, check this out, you know. And I knew every shot how he did it. But but the way he did it was really kind of cool. You know, I showed Mary some of the slow motion stuff that he did and then the drone shot. And I thought, man, this is kind of cool so my the wheels start turning in my right, mind that's right. how it is with me um and i uh thought i'd reach out to him and uh sure enough i i, I don't remember how it came about but i'll let michael talk about it mike would you talk a little bit about how we we hooked up and how it yeah came about? of course uh yeah so you saw my uh, videos on like facebook the austin filmmakers page i share like uh some of my best stuff there, like my um, little like videos I do and a lot of drone stuff I do. And Francois saw it and he really enjoyed it. And so Francois reached out to me and uh, I'm pretty sure I heard uh, Virginia talk about him a couple of times. And so I decided to meet him because I wanted to meet a more experienced filmmaker. And uh, thank you, Michael. Just, uh, yeah, just uh, <laughs> hear, uh, hear him out and see what. Uh, see if he had anything that I could uh, do to work on. And so he told me about his film. And, uh, you know, at first I thought that maybe I should think about it, but then I was like, uh, why not? I'll just do it. And so I just uh, agreed the same day we met. And, um, yeah, we were pretty much um, in contact for a few months. Yeah, that's and, right. And, yeah. yeah. And, uh, and, and I went to it, all the it, meetings. It actually and everything. took a few months, Michael. Didn't yeah, yeah, it took a few Man, months. I, I think. Like, is this gonna happen? Yeah, I think, <laughs> I think we met back in like March, maybe. Yeah, that's right. March, yeah. and now it's about about the end of June. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's. And correct. we stayed in consistent contact, and I made sure that I had my dates available for him, and uh, yeah. Yeah, we were able to shoot it in about two days. Yeah, and you know, yeah. uh, but uh, we we shot the majority of the film Saturday. On a, uh, and, and how many hours was that, Michael? Uh, we shot from about like I want to say eight a.m. to about maybe ten a.m., eleven a.m. Midnight. Uh, midnight. midnight. Okay, it was midnight. So yeah, 
it was midnight. So yeah, and, uh, I mean, I, I, was I was like, pretty, no, it wasn't just two hours. Yeah, what are yeah, you talking yeah, about? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was looking for Michael, and he was somewhere laying down on the couch. You know, just yeah, oh, yeah, I was, I was pretty exhausted. Yeah, we, yeah, were, we were so yeah. tapped out. We were yeah, so tapped I mean, there's out, nothing but, uh, like, uh, we, like filming for we hung a whole in day. There yeah. all the way through. And yeah, I, thank we you, Michael. Yeah, yeah, no problem. We got some real good footage. We got some really good shots, and I can't wait to see it all put together. Yeah, and actually, I broke my record as for shooting that long. I've never. I did 14 hours on a studio, but man, that was like 16 hours, I think. Yeah. I think something like that. Yeah, you have uh, to be patient to be yeah, a filmmaker. You, do. you yeah. have to be patient. And, and I thank the actors as well, too, Heather. I thank you, uh, everybody that was involved in this, because, uh, you know, uh, when you're patient, good things come. You know, the yeah. results the, the results are, are good. Uh, after that, I was uh, part of a film uh, festival uh, in San Antonio, and I was looking. Uh, I, I uh, met a guy named Jerry Garcia at the film festival, and we talked a little bit. And uh, I thought, you know what? I need I need a uh, better crew, a little bit more experience. But they, I mean, they knew they know their stuff, but I just needed somebody that could could uh, fill the gap where I needed it. And I met Jerry Garcia. Jerry, tell him how we hooked up, man. <laughs> And well, how you ended up on this project. Yes. Um, well, uh, Nick was the one who uh, told me that, that you wanted to uh, see uh, my film, Betrayal, and I submitted it to the Animal City uh, Film uh, Festival. Yes, and thank you, yeah. Nick. Thank yes, you, thank you, Nick, for introducing me to him. Yeah. And so um, after my film won uh, Best Original Screenplay, you contacted me through, uh, f uh, through uh, Facebook, and then you said, Jerry, I, I saw your movie and I love it and I like your style and I want you to be a part of, of my film. And then you uh, told me of what your short film was about and I was like pretty all excited and I, and I found it very interesting. And and I first met you in person um, uh, here in Austin at a clubhouse and at a uh, apartment complex where we talked about it. Yeah, and I'm so glad to be a part of this film because I, I haven't been one uh, for like a year since t t 2009 when I was working on my film, Betrayal, which it has won 16 awards from film festivals all over the world. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah Congratulations. Uh, yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you so yeah, much. Man. Thank you. You know, so here we are, you know, trying to, you know, not only getting some good actors, but also uh, uh, the crew came in with, great tools to, to make you know this happen and my philosophy is it takes all parts to make a working brain and pretty much this was working so then after that I uh, was at another film festival not Starbucks again I was at a film <laughs> festival and I got out and I'm walking and, I, and then I saw this guy and he came right up to me and started talking and we started chanting and it was Tom uh, Tommy, uh, tell them how we met and how you ended up on this film, man. Uh, yeah, so I was volunteering for the Lake Travis Film Festival, and uh, part of my duty for that uh, shortlist party, which is people who are like nominated for awards and stuff, I was to park the cars, and so I seen him park his car. I was like, man, that's a really nice car. And so <laughs> after he got out, I told him that. He's like, yeah, I was, you know, I just I just got back from L.A. I was like, golly. I was like, all right, well, I hope I'm doing enough to, you know, tell people I just got back from so-and-so. But, um, then, you know, we, we started to talk a little bit. He asked me what I was doing there. You know, I told him what my goals were as far as the film industry goes. And he was like, hey, you have a, you know, Facebook. So I gave him my card. He's like, wow, this is really impressive. And he but told I, me. You know, one of the things is I, I saw you and I, and I think I said, man, you got a really good look, you know, and uh, I wasn't trying to pick you up or anything. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I said, uh, you got a good look, man. And take it from there, bro. Yeah. And so um, he's like, yeah, go ahead and give me on Facebook. I was like, man, I'm going to take a picture of his because I was like, I feel like he's not going to actually look me on Facebook. So but the next day he actually messaged me and I was like, oh, wow. OK. And so he sent me an email shortly after I messaged him back, let him know I was the right person. And because uh, he was like, you know, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll let you be an extra. I'll let you put you in the film. I was like, all right. Yeah. OK. And so I was like, oh, wow, he's being serious. And so um, we had the crew meeting, as he mentioned earlier. And um, it was it was really nice to talk to him. Like, if, if, I guess the most important thing that I enjoyed about my career in the film industry is like meeting such nice people. Like, it's sure being nice. connected you and so making much. connections yeah. and you know, moving on up, but it's the nice people and the stories and the motivation and the kindness is definitely the most thing that I um, enjoy out of everything. So this was a fun project to be a part of and very nice people and hopefully, you know, 
we're all on a bigger platform in the future oh, doing man. the same yeah, thing. Yeah, so, in agreement, so in agreement, yeah. man. <laughs> yeah, and, and you know, uh, after that, I uh, I talked to. Um, I was in, you know, Nick is like a connector, man. Nick is the guy that's got the connections. And so I, uh, we finally, we were, Nick, how did we hook up? How did we meet, man? So I saw you wearing a sombrero at Starbucks. (laughs) 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 And then we were talking in Spanish. (laughs) See, uh, that please do not drink tequila. (laughs) Don't, it's it's Diablo. (laughs) Right. (laughs) Tequila is is Diablo. So it was actually, my aunt, uh, her name was Blanca, and she she got me into talking, um, connecting with you on Facebook, and I, I wanted to get as much as, get as much as experience as possible because um, I'm currently living in Texas for now, uh, for about two weeks until I move to California to further my career. Mm. I've been in uh, my first film. I was in was actually in Jerry's film, which was Betrayal. And which was filmed in San Antonio. The um, I've currently this is my fourth film, and it's an honor to be with the uh, the, the producer, the casting director, and meeting everybody with connections. Um, I'm currently working on a uh, being uh, being casted in another film in Florida called um, You Misspelled Daddy. <laughs> it, it's a uh, it's a it's a TV series, and it's going to be around episode three or four. Don't quote me on that yet <laughs> but I'm looking on for, uh, forward to uh, to meeting everybody and I'd like to thank everybody about this project yeah. yeah man when you when you shoot in Florida you're not coming back man, <laughs> man Mary, Mary can tell you about that I'm not too sure they have not sent us the, the address yet um, of when they they start filming for the episode but it starts in a giant giant ballroom um where, and where I'm filmed as an extra, and it's basically a party in one of the episodes. Well, but you know, stay tuned. Mary, Mary's got connections in, of peop, uh, casting people in Miami. She's, you know, all over Florida. She's the connection in, in Florida. Yeah. Wow, yeah, she's that's from amazing. Miami. She's a Miami girl. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Um, so a- after that, Nick, I want to just say that uh, when I saw you, you know, I saw you in Betrayal. And, and I also saw your, some of your photos and I talked to Mary and I said, uh, she asked me, what do you think about Nick? And I said, man, the dude looks like he's from Duran Duran. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, uh, he's got a great look. I, I thought you were a model actually. Oh Did really? You model? Yeah. No, I've never tried yeah. modeling at all. You look I, like a I model. Was, oh, I appreciate and, um, that. And so I said, yeah, man, we can get him, you know, we can get him in here and he can be in the, in one of the gamers. And, and then that was it. But then we got him in, and I'm so happy. Nick, you did a great job, and I thank you. And um, then came Heather Ross. <laughs> you know, I've known, well, how long have we known each other, Heather, I, man? I mean, years. I, she, I, we go I way know. back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But we have a funny story on how we met. Tell me tell me the story, because I forgot, man. Oh, how can you forget this? Okay, so. Was I wearing the sombrero? No, you were. Oh. <laughs> it was in Starbucks. So it right? was actually not Starbucks. Okay. It, it was at a film festival. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, so we're now. sitting at. Uh, yeah. Uh, it was Austin, I think it was Austin Film Festival. Right. We were in the Driscoll, weren't we? were in we? the Driscoll. Yeah. And we're sitting downstairs. And oh, my like, gosh. Uh, yeah. And I, we met up, and it was like two other people. They were, um, were there Ali Ali was sitting down yeah Richard a producer was there too Richard. right and then um Ali is a photographer right yeah and like award-winning photographer she's awesome yeah Ali was cool and she uh we had ordered drinks and the, um, the waitress come and we're all talking and everything yeah. and it's super busy there's people everywhere and it's just right. awesome and the waitress comes back and she's got all the drinks on there and then just i don't know if she tripped or what happened right yeah. but just spilled them all over ali the yeah. photographer uh, and there's this moment where we she just, uh, freezes <laughs> and then just and she wears like bright red lipstick she's very like you know long and lean and she's got just curly hair and she always looks fantastic and she just freezes and then she just starts but, and we her and I look at each other. We had just met that day. I just met her that day too. Yeah, and we just yeah. 
bust out laughing. Yeah, yeah. And it was it was beautiful. The best. It was the best. Yeah. Yes. And we were just all bonded in that moment. Yeah. And it just kind of like sparked and Allie and I are like still great yeah. friends. And, I, I, I you know. love her. She's absolutely awesome. Yeah. She she we took some photos, some great photos. She's so photogenic. And uh she's just fantastic, you know, mm -hmm. and she travels all over the world. She really girl. does. Yeah. Yeah. And I've we've done a pro her and I have done a photo project together. Yeah. Um, yeah. about uh, LGBT people that have experienced domestic violence right. called the Serpent's yeah. Voice. And then I produced one of your short yeah, you films. Yeah, one of mine, and then we shot yeah. one of yours, which yeah. won awards. Right. Well, yeah, you're, you Adulting Morning. You wrote yeah. it, and you directed it. I did. And yeah. I, yeah, I was in it at the end. And then, yeah. yeah. We've been friends for, man, for a long time. For a long time. Yeah. Years. I don't even, I think it's, I don't, I don't know how many I years. Because COVID kind of messed remember. things up, yeah. so I lost, like, track <laughs> yeah, of time. I know, I, I know. Yeah, I, so. But it's good that we're still connected, and, you know, we're still in the film community, which is great. Right. And you were actually the doctor in this. Yeah, I was. And yeah. I mean, I'm going to grad school to like, and so I had scrubs anyway. Man. Yeah. I'm laying the seeds down for you, babe. <laughs> oh, maybe I should have rephrased that. I'm so sorry. Yeah. But, you know, so, you're but, forgiven. You know. Okay. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so I had the scrubs anyway, and then I had the posters right. anyway, because they were up in my office. Everything was in sync with that. I, 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 I was, I, I thought about bringing the skeleton, but I honestly couldn't fit it in my cart because I couldn't yeah. get it part after I put it together. So. Well, yeah, you know, it just, not only did it fall into place, but your, your med school vision, your, uh, you had the charts, you had the, the scrubs. I mean, everything just fell into place. Right. And it turned out really good. The blood pressure monitor. The blood like, pressure monitor, yeah. the, your, your demeanor, you and, and diamond scene in the, uh, in the doctor scene came out so good. I was just, you know, and it was a, it was an emotional scene too. It was very emotional, and it came out so good. I was very pleased that you were a part of this as well too. So. And then I'm in the gaming scene. I also and was. You were in the gaming scene, yeah. And I also That's was in the forte. gaming. <laughs> I was in the forte. gaming industry too. Yeah. So it kind of was like, like, okay, yeah. <laughs> sure, yeah, like I know yeah. what this is like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that came out good, and a lot of the people here were in the gaming scene, and uh, that was fun. That yeah. was fun to do, yeah. you know, and uh, and you know the thing is, is that with the actors here, as well as the crew, is that whenever I do a, a production, or if I do, uh, well, yeah, if I do a production, I always, I always like to bring your game up as an actor a little bit more than where you've been before, and I think that you know people pay forty dollars to a hundred dollars to go to acting class mm. to to do these scenes, but. But you're now doing the scenes and and you're really laying it down on film and um, I'm bringing your game up that's what I like to do to actors that are uh, have acted is to bring your game up to go to a little place where you've not been before and it's new and it brings out something new in you as well as the crew you know it comes out you know like a good example is Tom Tom here you know uh, he started out in crew, but as I, I, you know, studied Tom, I thought, you know what, he would be a great supervisor in this. So I talked to Tom, and we, I raised his game up. Not only in, in. You know, he said he just wanted to do crew, PA. Now he's an actor. I mean, he did really, he had lines in it, and he just, hey, it's, Tom, you did a great job, man. Thank you. you Congratulations yeah, on the you promotion. Did a great job. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, and not only that, you know, I got to get Nick in there and, you know, got him a, a good couple of lines in there, and he did a great job. Uh, Jerry, uh, you're versatile, man. You can do it all, bro. Jerry, you can.